Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and I am back, just like I said I would, because I always come back. You know me, right? I don't like to stall at the beginning of videos, so let's just hop right into it. Boys, we have some brand new news on the FNAF movie. Yesterday, an interview was conducted with Jason Blum, which if you did not know, is the CEO and founder of Blumhouse Productions, which is the people making the movie. It mainly focuses on their brand new movie, Freaky. I'm not here to promote it at all, though I, heard, I have heard some good things about it, so maybe go watch it, maybe go give it a try. I don't fucking know, I'm not being paid to say this. But yeah, most of the interview is about Freaky, it also touches on, um, Halloween Kills, as well as just what it's like to make films during a pandemic. It's honestly a really solid interview, it's gonna be linked down below, of course I highly recommend go reading it. It was done by Inverse, again, link down below, go check it out. And while you're down there boys, why not subscribe if you are new? Just between you and me, I may have ordered some FNAF slime, and <laughs> trust me, you don't want to miss that. Uh, or maybe you do, but if you do want to miss it, you should subscribe anyways because we have a lot of a lot of good videos coming out, boys. You know, the action figures, the figurines that Funko made, I'm going to get those, we're going to get them, we're going to review them, unbox them, take a look at them, all that good stuff in the future. So, the interview goes as follows. Jason Blum is the scariest CEO in Hollywood. As the founder of Blumhouse Productions, his spearheaded a new wave of horror movies ranging from Jordan Peele's Get Out to 2018's Halloween Reboot to anthology shows on Amazon and Hulu. And if we ever return to movie theaters, he's got plenty more scares in store. In the meantime, the world is scary enough on its own thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. That's provided a formidable challenge for companies like Blumhouse, which are now forced to shell out for personal protective equipment so production can continue. It's an additional 10 to 20% of the movie's budget, Blum tells Inverse. It ain't cheap. Then goes on to talk more about making movies in the pandemic. I just wanted to touch upon that lightly just to remind people, yeah, we're still in a pandemic. So now, officially moving on to the FNAF news. Shows a picture of FNAF, one that I'm not too big a fan of just because it is not official at all. But, for some reason, article companies love to frickin' use it, and below it, it says the FNAF is still happening, eventually, by Scott Cawthon. I don't remember him saying that, if I'm being honest, but it sounds like something else he would say. What about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? That ran into some issues. Is it still happening? Jason replied with, it's still active, we haven't quite figured it out, but we're getting closer every day. That will be Blumhouse's first video game adaptation. What are the challenges in turning a game into a movie? The story is a big challenge. You know, FNAF should have been easier because there are books. There's a lot of lore and storytelling. For a video game, I think it has more storytelling than almost any other. But still, the story goes down so many rabbit holes. It goes down so many different directions. It's big. Choosing which part to tell the first time out of the gate and how to tell it has been tricky. So honestly, I was very surprised when Jason brought up the books. I was not thinking he would have spoken about them just because it was such an early idea to make the movie about the books. If you didn't know, uh, the plan so far, the hope and dream, is to have three movies all based off the first three games. Obviously FNAF 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and honestly, very very early on, people were thinking, okay, they're not going to make a movie about the games, instead they'll make it about the book, The Silver Eyes. And it was confirmed not too long ago, maybe like a year or two ago, that Scott is actually making the movie about the games, not about the books. And to be fair, I feel like that opens it up a bit more, you know, because you have all of the games instead of just three books to go off of. Because yes, it would have gone off the original trilogy. The Freddy, um, not the Freddy, the Fazbear Fright books were not even made back then. So yeah, there were really two ways that they could have gone, is with the books, with Charlie, John, all those guys, or with the games, Freddy, and the crew. I'm really happy that they went with the direction of the games, be just because I feel like a lot more people will know about the games rather than the books, because really, not many non-FNAF fans read the books. The fact that they are having trouble going with um, storytelling surprises me, because there's not a lot of story in the first game. And if Scott only wants to make, at maximum, three movies, I think they should focus on those three games. I don't know if I would want them to be a complete retelling of the lore that we knew up until FNAF 3, like no nightmares, no fun time characters, no scrap baby, no baby at all. I don't know if I would want that, or I don't know if I would want more hints towards, okay, there was a past location, Fredbear and Friends, you know, Freddy and Friends, whatever it was called, and there was a bite there. I don't know if they would want to go into that because that's mainly FNAF 4, though it was alluded to in the past games. I don't know what direction they are going to take it, but I really hope they don't try and 
cram everything in there because that that's going to be terrible absolutely terrible if they want to make three movies i think they need to focus on just make one movie if it goes well we'll do a second and a third for the first one just focus on fnaf 1 right set up the basics you got freddy and the gang you got the night guard maybe throw in william afton there as well maybe allude to a safe room don't directly talk about it though again allude to the bite of 83 the bite of 87 whatever you want of course get the main lore of the first game get the five missing kids in there get the mysterious you know golden freddy figure in there but don't try and cram everything in the in there like sound discs and william afton and his plans to kill everything of course you know again get the killing in there but don't get the fun times remnant the scooper all that stuff don't put that don't even consider putting that in there anyways i'm gonna stop myself there because i could ramble on forever i want to talk about scott's comments because he has made two a lot of people just look at the first one they don't even know that he commented twice he says this is all very true it may seem like the project has been inactive but quite the opposite is true it's been very active for years a lot of big talent has come and gone trying to get this just right we all feel really good though about the latest screenplay though so i'm very hopeful it's going to happen i'm just determined for it to be the best it can possibly be so that confirms a script is done and scott feels pretty confident about it he feels very hopeful so hopefully <laughs> that means that that's set in stone set in stone because for the longest time we've had scott say Oh, I didn't like that script. Oh, I rewrote, I rewrote it. You know, Jason liked it, Chris liked it, but I didn't like it. So I rewrote it. So hopefully everyone's on board with the script um, and they can get to shooting. I don't think they'll shoot this this year at all at, yeah, I, hmm, I'm trying to think. I don't think they're going to shoot this year. I highly doubt they'll shoot this year. At most, they'll probably get a few casting calls done. Maybe start looking for locations. Maybe just start planning it out. Um, and then next year, will be shooting time. I think, again, I absolutely hate to throw out release dates just because we only have a script done, and this is not me confirming it, this is just me speculating. This is me going on my soapbox to say, I am speculating it is going to be a 2022 release date. But, okay, again, that's not confirmed at all. That's my thoughts. And again, all that stuff about shooting next year, casting calls, that is all my thoughts as well. I just wanna make sure that is clear as possible. None of that is confirmed. That's up in here. Scott also left another comment saying, I want to say that criticism of every word I said here is a thousand percent justified. I know I've said things like this before. I really have been working hard on this. Give me just a little more time. And when I first read that comment, I'm not gonna lie, that hit me right here. Because we all know Scott fucking adores this community. And the community fucking, fucking, fucking adores Scott. And we all know he's working hard on this. He wants it to be the best it can be. And I really do hope that the the movie can fulfill that promise that Scott has made to us. And I know a lot of people are always upset. You know, the game has been in development for five years at this point. The game, sorry, the movie has been in development for five years at this point. And a lot of people are getting irritated. You know, we've had like two FNAF-like movies come out. Well, I say two. We've had one, the Banana Splits, and then the upcoming Willy's Wonderland movie. So we've had like two knockoffs come out so I, I hope that's not getting to Scott because he knows his community he knows his games he knows that he can make this the best that it can possibly be and I have full faith in Scott I have full faith in Chris I have full faith in Jason everyone working on the project I have full full faith in all right this is gonna be a fantastic movie I know it's taken a long long time I'm not gonna lie am I upset that it's taking this long yes but Knowing that Scott is working this hard on it, and he's making it as perfect as it can be, that really does fill me with hope. So anyways, that's it. Nothing else really to talk about. Just a quick little update on the FNAF movie. Hopefully things go a bit smoother than the past couple of years. I really do wish Scott and Blumhouse good luck, especially with the pandemic going on. I know making a movie during these times is probably the worst thing that can ever happen, uh, but hopefully things can all get sorted out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>